Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey, and you are here. What's going on? If it's your first time checking us out, what's up? Like I said, I'm Jersey. Have a look around. Hopefully you enjoy it, and it's not the worst thing you've done with your time today or this week. And you want to go back and watch some previous episodes. Now this is episode like 60 something, so you got a lot of time and episodes to catch up on. And it's a 30 minute podcast. Uh, last uh, week, a couple weeks ago, it was like 40 minutes. So you got lots of content to follow up on. So please go back and do that. But make sure that you like, thumbs up our videos here on YouTube, or give us a review on iTunes. Uh, if you are one of the cool kids, one of the people who watch every single week, or listen, or just share and comment and all that, it's because of you that we get to keep doing this show. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I really genuinely appreciate it. And if you are one of the elite, one of the cool kids, somebody who watches every episode, you do the thumbs up thing, you comment, and... You've reviewed us on iTunes, and most importantly, you buy your supplies through me. It's because of you that I get to have brand name sunflower seeds. Look at that. Boom. That's because of you. So thank you very, very much. And if you want to buy your supplies through me, please do it. 862-312-2026 is my direct number. So I want to go over a winner, winner, chicken dinner real quick. This week's winner from the contest of YouTube is John Lang. Uh, John Lang pulled up uh, as our random winner this week. He just commented on our YouTube um, our YouTube episode, and we pull a winner from that. So if you want to win, comment on YouTube. And uh, make sure, if you're watching on YouTube right now, you click the thumbs up. I'm going to give you three seconds in three, two, one. Click it. Awesome. Thank you. It really does mean a lot. So I appreciate that. A couple of quick shout-outs. Jeremiah Hickey, what's going on? David Galkin, uh, what's going on, man? Uh, Nick Haven, of course, the man, and uh, Brad Hyatt, what is going on? So, those are our shout-outs for this week. Uh, if you missed the huge convention, check out the page. There's a ton of awesome stuff and pictures. We were both there, and if you weren't, you missed it, unfortunately, but next year is always another year. So, as you can see, my guest for today is Mr. Fluff. That's how I have you in my phone, by the way, is Mr. Fluff. That's the utmost of respect. Of course, of course. <laughs> I know, I know. What's going on, man? Oh, man, not a whole lot. Man, this convention was great. <laughs> <laughs> recording before this. It, it really is going to be great, but if we were recording after, we'd be a lot sluggish, more sluggish. And I know you haven't even eaten dinner yet, and we're recording at night. so I think I can think i can spare a few we <laughs> we are what we could do but uh yeah i'm really looking for it actually when we're recording this episode i am leaving in like hours to drive to the convention so uh, i'm very excited so hopefully everything goes amazingly and uh, the convention's awesome like it is every single year so are you getting excited for that by the way oh absolutely i've been uh like ever since i, I bought my ticket and I booked my hotel, like, in February. Well, <laughs> we couldn't book them in February. I had to wait a little while. But as soon as I was able to book my hotel, I straight up did it because I knew. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I knew that those puppies wouldn't be around very much longer. And just like I thought, they're all sold out. Yeah. All Isn't that crazy? They were I was... gone, like, weeks ago, and everybody is offering up. <laughs> information on you know where to get a place you know airbnb and uh the whatever the hyatt or whatever there's something else going on in town so they're all yeah us. it's downtown atlanta there's always stuff going on so it's like one of those things it's gonna be awesome though. I'm, I'm i'm stoked um i just i just am it's just awesome it's like my favorite time of year so but anyway on top of the convention that uh, we are currently at as people are watching this um, today we're going to be talking about finesse, like, like the fact that time will kind of reveal like things that people can only learn in time and everybody, especially, I don't want to say millennials cause that's like one of those things, but in today's day and age, when I can Google anything and learn any single craft, I can learn to play the piano. I can learn to stitch or sew. I can do anything within minutes. People don't quite get that sometimes you just can't learn it instantly. You know, you've been cleaning since you were like a little fluff, right? Oh, absolutely. 
it, my dad would take me with him to work. So um, I was probably, let's see, my brother, when my brother was born, is especially when I went to work with my dad. Uh, so that, he's like three or, three or four years younger than me. Uh, so I was, I was working with my dad when I was like five. <laughs> it's know, crazy getting into trouble i wasn't working it was more well, of a you were there your babysitter was, was doing there. something <laughs> yeah well there's there's things that people don't quite get because they they did they just learned or they just got into this this industry which is awesome if you're brand new to the industry that's so cool but there's things that people just don't quite understand like how do i learn this there's just some things you cannot learn Without doing it a thousand times, what do they say ten thousand hours makes you a master of something? I don't know. I think I've got my time in. <laughs> You're like a master and a half by now. Yeah, probably. Nice. Yeah, I hear guys all the time. We'd be working, and they're like, uh, "How many of those do you do in a day?" Like, Dude, I don't even keep count of these things. I just just work until I can't. <laughs> and so you're just tired for the day or like the, 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 the paper runs out of things to do for that day. And then you just go to the next day. Right. It'll, it all bleeds together after a certain point. Mm, oh yeah. But this was like a super kind of interesting topic because you brought it up to me and I kind of was like thinking about, I'm like, I never really thought about it, about the, the, the type of things that are just there that we take for granted. Now I've been in business only maybe, you know, 12, 13 years, but you or other guys, it's just things that we now know that you can't kind of go. And that's what we're going to talk about today is we're just going to kind of talk about some of that things. But but first off, I want to ask you, what do you think that you need to know? Like, what is the big, the big key finesse things that you learn over time? Uh, well, it's dealing with customers, um, uh, doing your job. Uh, there's, you know... You, you maybe over time you get sloppy with it. So you gotta, you know, you gotta keep, uh, keep on your game. Uh, let's see, dealing with customer, let's see the building your routes or if you got, you know, houses and things like that, you know, there's, uh, all the, there's, there's several, several things that, um, you just have to keep working at to get better and better and better at. So there's, there's some things that will come to you that are just natural. And then other things that, that aren't yeah uh, so it's oh, it's almost the confidence of some of these things too is like like you had mentioned like something as simple as like how much soap to put in water or like right. how much water to bring into a commercial like that kind of thing where you don't you don't even think about it anymore like i right. try to explain well how much soap do you need i, I go uh I don't, I don't know squirt it in your hand and then like i can't even tell you like is it a quarter it's like a quarter and then just wash your hand around and that's but nobody does it you just kind of squirt it and you know when you're good yeah. and it's it's just one of those things. Yeah, there's a lot of those things that are floating out there that you actually can get an answer for. Like, how much soap do you use? Well, Luke's probably got, uh, you know, a ratio that he, he can tell you. But if he's like me, he's probably like, yeah, wait, <laughs> a little bit more. And yeah, yeah. That's it, you know, uh, and that's how I do it. You know, I've got, I use several different chemicals. I use several different soaps and stuff. I, I alter, uh, alternate between all these just because i want to experience something different i want to make sure that i'm not missing out on something that i haven't already done yeah and i do this all the time i i will uh i'll try this soap and i'm like yeah 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 that was good uh okay i'm gonna try another one (laughs) and i'm like yeah yeah that was not so good what about that one i just tried and then i'll do i'll go back and forth because uh and I'll do that with rubber too. I'll, I'll be like, uh, I'm gonna try this black diamond rubber out. You know, it's great. All right, I'm gonna try the razor red. Oh my gosh, this is horrible, or whatever. <laughs> and so I just that's how I do it. Uh, yeah, it's all just trial and error. And when you're when you're working on your finesse with everything, a lot of it's gonna be trial and error. Yeah. But after a while, you start to pave your way uh, to where you know what to do and you know what not to do. Yeah. So like even bringing water into like a, a place where you're going to go work. Uh, back in the day, my dad didn't know any better. He would bring a five gallon bucket of water into a mall. And this was when I was a little kid. <laughs> he had a lot of windows to clean, but there wasn't any other method back then. There was no rectangular buckets. There, yeah. there weren't any, uh, there wasn't any dry methods of cleaning. There wasn't, you know, there were, there were not, uh, 
different kinds of squeegees. You know, there was the Vettere brass or the Unger brass, and that was yeah. it. Yeah, that yeah. It. So, uh, but having all this new technology and new tools of the trade, it allows you to uh, be more proficient, uh, more, more economical with a lot of the things that you do. And it's real. It's been real fun tr- showing and trying out new things with my dad around because he's like, you know, no. <laughs> it's like, he's the old timer. Yeah, I, yeah. Got, I got the bucket on the belt, you know. And uh, for the first one I got, and my dad was just like, no, no you don't need that. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I need this because I, I can put water down in there. I don't have to carry a five gallon bucket of water into the mall. I can just use this bucket. Uh huh. He's still carrying around the bucket, you know. Mm-hmm. And eventually, you know what I did? I bought him one. Oh, okay. Him one. <laughs> did it work? So he, did it actually use so it? I, I grandfathered him into this, you know, like, now you try this out. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, the, between all that and here and now, there was definitely definitely a, a learning curve. Well, not necessarily a learning curve, but a uh, a path that you have to go down, you know, Mm-hmm. To know where you're, you know, to know where you've been, and now you know the difference between uh, between things that you do and things that you don't. Yeah, it, it, it's almost as important to learn the things not to do than right. like the, you know, the first time you, uh, uh, I don't even say scratch a window because I can't remember doing that, but I remember the first time I used a razor, yeah, and and caught the uh, the seal on like commercial windows up, and I'm like hitting it, I'm like shredding the side, like what is going on realizing how like to angle it just a little bit so that it tips out and you're like little weird things of like how much water can be left on a commercial window like you know guys that detail everything but yet there's something like where is that cut off or like uh what'll dry you know like if you do a turn and there's a small turn mark or something like is it small enough it'll dry or like just weird little things where you you realize what not to do just as much as you figure out what to do and it only comes with time that's right. Uh, time in, uh, t- time in rank, or uh, just time in on your on your job is, uh, you know, you you will learn over time what to do and what not to do. Yeah. And and there, like as I was telling you, there's there's things that I do uh, that a lot of new guys are starting out. They'll be like, I can't do that. How do you do that? It's not that hard. But then again, I've been doing it a while, and yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not great or anything, but uh, I'm just saying that you know there's there's certain tricks, there's there's t- subtle nuances that you pick up with what you're doing. And, but it's uh, not even conscious; you don't even think right. about it you regularly. It just about. kind of happens. Yeah, you don't even think about it. Like, uh, man, I for the longest time I would take a, a rag and just wipe seals all day long, and, uh, and of course I had to change those out, but then. Like one day I figured out, hey, I'll just use a small squeegee and then I'll just squeegee off the, the seal and and then I'm, save oh, the towel. Now I don't have a towel and it takes me like half the time. Yeah. So there's all these things you just figure out and uh, uh, <laughs> one of the funniest things is uh, using a ton of soap in your water and then trying to clean like four pieces of glass before they dry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you learn you learn the hard way. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do this again. Now you just cost yourself extra time. But. Mm-hmm. And those um, are little things that, like, oh, you're a content guy. You create content. But those are little things that, like, no one's doing videos on. Like, oh, here's the channel method. Like, you take this little six inch cutoff that you had from your channel, and that's how you do the sills. Your rubber will last forever because it doesn't have to be sharp anymore. You know. But nobody ever is going to make a video on that because that would suck as content. But yeah. if somebody looks close enough, that's how they're doing it in the videos. Like, it's the little things that just can't. But you don't even realize. I mean, literally until we're talking about this show, I didn't even realize all these little things. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess I don't even know about that, you know. This is just finesse over time. Yeah, it really is. Uh, that that little bitty detail in the squeegee, I haven't changed the rubber out in that Uh since I got it. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, if you're thinking that you're going to have to change the rubber out all the time, besides you can just use old rubber that, that you've used and whatever. I, I put rags on that thing and detail corners with it, all kinds yeah. of stuff. 
Yeah, that's one other one. Like uh, putting a rag on the end of your channel for the first time and figuring that out. Like, what? I just got an extra couple inches. I needed those couple inches. I got them now. But no one's making videos on that because that again. Up, uh, points, yeah. yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a uh, even with the content, um, you can't just run in and and just start making a YouTube channel or a podcast without. You uh, you can if you watch some people's you stuff. Can. <laughs> it's just not that great all the time. It's right not there. that great. Right. Um, so speaking of, so it kind of works the same way of window cleaning. You could just run in full steam and just be like, yeah, and but you really need to watch some of these guys. Uh, even uh, the creators, we we have. Uh, uh, I've got an Instagram account. Uh, people contact me all the time, uh, and they'll ask me questions, and I don't mind answering them. Uh, I don't mind helping somebody out. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe some other people aren't approachable. I don't know, but I don't mind answering questions. I love to help people. And, and not and, to interrupt uh, you on that, but because if anybody's listening or watching right now and doesn't know all that, what's your Instagram? It's Fluff Daddy Cleans. Fluff Daddy Cleans. What's your uh, YouTube page? Uh, I think it's just called Fluff Daddy. Well, there you go. So now they have everything, and they can ask questions if they got it. Okay, continue. I'm and sorry. If, and if they don't want to do that, and they want to send me an email. It's fluffdaddycleans at gmail dot com. See, so you're just available all over the place. I like it. I, like I it. am. <laughs> oh yes. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. But oh, uh, all the creators—they we're all veterans. We've been doing this a while, and so if you have any questions, uh, you could probably look one of us up, and especially me, I can answer. Uh, yeah. And if I don't know, I'll ask one of the other guys uh, or refer you. Yeah. Um, so that that's one of the main reasons why we are doing what we're doing is just to help. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we see if we see somebody struggling or whatever, we may. Uh, I I have never went out of my way to just punish somebody on on uh, Facebook or whatever for yeah. for mis I won't do that. But uh, you know, I've I have helped people. And I don't mind. Anyway, uh, yeah. So yeah, there's there's all kinds of things you can learn from the content, all the content uh, that we've been putting up. Um, just study the videos, like how do you do that, and uh, and you can always ask a question on on YouTube. You know? Yeah. Uh, there was a guy who was like wanting to know like how do you detail this window? Like, dude, are you you want me to to do a video on detailing? That would be so boring. Yeah. But I would do it. But know? it would help somebody, I imagine. It would some help point. somebody. And the funny thing about YouTube is YouTube loves comments. So if people who do comment, even if it's a question like that, it helps everybody out. Absolutely. I like that. Well, that, that's the thing with, with, with uh, asking questions. The big thing about this, which I don't want to get too off, far off topic, but it's people who ask questions that don't want to know the answer. They just want you to agree with them. Like They'll ask how to do something, and you go, oh, do it this way. And they go, yeah, I've tried it. It doesn't work. Uh, okay, why did you ask me then? You know, like, don't be stubborn. If you're going to ask, try everything. That's the only way through time. If you got, I mean, you've been in the industry now 43 years. <clears throat> so, you know, it takes that long to kind of try everything. So try everything. That's how you find out what works best for you. Don't yeah, be stubborn. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, my dad, was, like I said, he was the, he's the most stubborn man I've known as far as cleaning <laughs> windows. So. Yeah. Any new thing that I would try out, he'd just be like, "No, you look stupid. Don't do that." Weird. That 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 reminds me of something called a a water water fed pole. Oh, the people online they <laughs> they're not using it. They hate the thing. It's some kind of witchcraft. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, my dad was uh, he gave me so much grief over that too. Um, and uh, then you know he saw how easy it was, and then all of a sudden everything looked like potential water fed pole stuff. Yeah, <laughs> what if they pull on that? I'm like, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Man, this new thing that I just got. Um, he actually, he actually did this to me though. Uh, he started off with these little unger pads that you could buy from the hardware store, and uh, he was uh, dry cleaning stuff in the mall. And I was like, not gonna work. You're gonna get a call back. <laughs> you know, it's not yeah. gonna work. You're gonna smudge. People are gonna hate you. It's not gonna work. <laughs> and uh, He's, he just kept at it and kept at it. And so finally, I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy me buy, buy, buy myself a couple of these pads. And I started <laughs> doing it too. And it's helped so much in the mall. I mean, uh, 
because you you know before you bring in the squeegees and you're bringing in water and what happens when you bring in water you got a mess yeah and it, if you're in there past 10 o'clock you're you're done for there's oh, no yeah. cleaning outside the you know the place well now there's a little fudge time you know with the uh the stingray i got that the other day nice yeah. man oh man <laughs> that thing is awesome yeah there's there's a video coming on gonna be on that by the way yeah so, thanks yeah you See, gotta it's buy the, one of these stingrays man I'm it's the little you. things though right like until yeah. you try it like you could have gone another five years and never tried it and then like you could use this thing three years ago but like you have what to try you things to find the I, finesse of it yeah i saw it at the, the huge convention last year and I was like, man, I don't know about this thing. Dude, it is so cool. It's got, <laughs> like, all these little buttons all the way up the poles and stuff, all these extensions. And they, yeah. it's got a battery-operated sprayer. It's like a like a Swiffer on crack. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, it's it's pretty cool. I, uh, like, before I was take, I went and got the, uh, the, the speed clean system kind of stuff, and I would take spray away spray the pad clean the window and that worked great yeah but now i don't have to pull my thing down to spray it i'm just already there and faster it, dude, I my time in half yeah so, that's crazy sorry. it's what that's one of those things though it's like you said you just you don't you don't you're not gonna find out until you actually try the other thing is people who are fighting against equipment i i don't want to get back on the, the water fed thing but stingray is another one where people go ah Oh yeah, I just wiping windows down. That's what I'm doing. Why are you fighting it? Try it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Like, who knows if you like a zero degree or a forty degree, or if you like a wide body or not a wide body. Try this stuff. I've never met anybody who does tried. Uh, Stingray is one of those where you have to have the pad moving as you pull it off, otherwise you'll leave marks. You know, so that kind of mm. until people realize that part, they're like, oh, it doesn't work great. Water fed's one of those. I've never met anybody who's gotten into water fed and doesn't use water fed. I mean, you. You can't wreck it, you know. But try well, this stuff. <laughs> it's a lot of money, especially for a water fed to to invest it, to invest in something. And that's kind of scary. Yeah. You know, because you're spending a lot of money on something that you've never used before. I can yeah. see how I can see that. Well, like the most expensive squeegee is like thirty five dollars, and then you go up to like you want know, you want a zero pure system is two thousand dollars. You're like oh, oh, that's <laughs> that's like a whole another ballpark, you know. I mean, yeah, you know. But, but it can save you so much time in certain situations. Just yeah. like the Stingray, uh, you wouldn't want to use that on uh, glass you've never cleaned before. You know, you're going to want to at least trad that a couple of times or, you know, at least figure out during traffic how much dirt is going to accumulate on this glass. Right. Yeah. That's a nuance. That's finesse. You got to know these things. Yeah. Or before one other thing. Put them up there. Yeah. In malls, how long did it take you to kind of catch on to the fact that there is fabric lint on the windows? Like from yep. so many people walking, there is more. You don't even see it until you're cleaning it and there's like globs and you're like, whoa. Yep. Like it took me years to all of a sudden be like, oh my gosh, this is from like people walking, like fibers from their clothes. There's so much traffic, yeah. you know? You don't even realize it. It took a squeegee down in a heartbeat. Yeah, so you, yeah. Like, go to clean it. It's like, oh no, and you got to wipe it off. Yeah, you got the boogers. You're like, the, there was nothing <laughs> on the window. Now there's boogers on there. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> yeah, no. But one of the things to kind of learn on this stuff too is not just the content, but it's networking. Like you were talking about earlier, it's like meeting somebody who you can kind of just talk to. You know, like you were lucky. You had your dad where you can kind of go back and forth. You've You've said, oh, that's not going to work to him. And he said, oh, it's not going to work to you. But yet, you, you know, you can kind of go back and forth. You also know when he goes, uh, uh, billboards don't work. That's a bad form of advertising and window cleaning, right? If he tells you that, you learn from his mistakes. It's like Facebook groups and, and YouTube and yeah. all these other things. You learn from networking, too. It's, it's well, I will tell you this. It's harder listening to your dad or your family versus a stranger. <laughs> that that's very true, I bet. I bet. Because you could be like, like my dad tells me something. I'm like, yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah. You know. Yeah, old man, come on. <laughs> Give it the times. He doesn't know. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. I remember that one time. You don't have the right to tell me. Yeah. You know. <laughs> remember that one time you were wrong? I remember I proved you wrong? No, forever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, sometimes it's easier just to ask a stranger, somebody that you don't know. Yeah. Um, like, even if you're like, I know this is kind of off subject, but 
Like if you were having marital problems, it'd be easier for you to ask somebody that you didn't know uh, your opinion versus somebody that you do know because you don't want them to know your business. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. But very it, true. I digress. Um, <laughs> I digress. Yes, that's very true. But networking is big, just like content, uh, watching creators, um, uh, networking to even asking you questions or asking any of us kind of questions on the things. Yep. But catching the little stuff, you know, it's always we get in, especially these guys who are in it two years. Like at the two year mark, you're like, I got it, man. This is it, man. I'm a pro. But you realize you are learning forever. You're always learning. I never stop. I never stop. No. I never the, stop learning. The theory is if you've learned the point when you in your body as a person have learned everything you're going to learn, you die. Like that's that's the yeah. point of it. You got nothing else to live for if you've learned it yeah. all. So there's never a point when you just learn it all. There's just there isn't because things change, new technology comes out, new processes, new everything comes out. There's there's so many different ways to do this to, to skin the cat now. I mean, mm -hmm. there's so many different ways. You um, know, I think what I think another interesting one is on that whole like finesse to learn is like sales. Like a sales, mm -hmm. you can read books and things, but to sell without selling is 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 a finesse thing. How to talk to people, like how to convey your knowledge without without sounding like a douchebag, you know, or right, right. or not talking down to a homeowner who is telling you, oh, you don't use uh, Windex, you don't use newspaper, yes. you know, like there's that's finesse. People talking to people, like how do you learn right. that? How does it come across, you know? Yeah, you got to learn how to to uh, keep from going there with that person, you know. Yeah. Like, I can't believe that they just told me I don't know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for 15 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can't go there with them. You know, you have to learn how to disconnect just a little bit, you know, so you can see what's going on. You can't yeah. be so uptight with people. You got to learn to ball it up, pack it down and deep inside and drink. That's what happens. That's what, <laughs> <laughs> No, just kidding for everybody out there who's sending me uh, nasty we're not, emails. <laughs> we're not advocating. No, no, no. It's marijuana. That's much better than alcohol. No, just it's healthy for you. It's got vitamins. I, Canada says it's healthy, right? No, yeah, no, yeah. but it is. It, that that's that's the hardest thing. Is is that I, I said I always told this story, but one time this lady is just yelling at her daughter, and we had four people on site. We were training a new guy, so my normal crew was there. I was on site with a new guy. We were kind of going over the thing. And this lady goes, if you don't stop effing up and blah, 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 you're going to end up like these guys cleaning windows. You know, and our windows were open and the guy's like, whoa. They were like, the one uh, one guy was the, one of our operations guy. He was like, F this. I'm done, man. I, I'm not. I said, just listen. Listen. Let's look at the numbers. Look at what we're doing. I'm proud of what we do. Like, you know, there's certain times you have to kind of like finesse through there. And we could all walk yep. off site, but you have to realize how the world works and how things go. And sometimes people talk down to us. Like we're glorified janitors. Yep. We're, yep. you know, in their way. We're, you know, too dumb to, you know, have a real job. And sometimes, you know, it's just one of those things you have to smile and go, all right, I'm cool. I, right. That used to bother me. The, the worst of the whole thing uh, was when I would be, um, when I'd be working and, and then somebody would come over and say, uh, you know, sure is cold to be cleaning windows i'm like yeah thanks a lot jerk <laughs> or because it, it'd be like 20 degrees outside it yeah. sure is pretty cold to be doing that or it's too man it sure is too hot to be doing that or yeah. you sure pick you sure pick, picked a, a horrible day to do this you know, yeah. like, you, you know, know it's gonna rain in and it's supposed to rain today <laughs> oh it used to bother me but it yeah. doesn't bother me anymore it's yeah. just one of those things you gotta learn let it roll off yeah doing your job moving to the south by the way it in the forecast through pretty much the entire summer rain is on three or four days of the week but here it rains for 15 minutes you know it'll downpour for 15 minutes if it rains and it could be in the middle of the night it could be you know anytime so they call for rain four days a week if you were to play it by hey it's supposed to rain yeah you would not have a business you know like some of these people they just don't understand and that's how you can kind of justify it in your head you know and that <clears throat> it happened to me today actually uh it looked like it was gonna rain it looked like it was gonna rain i was like well i'm just gonna keep working this route because uh, i gotta get back and talk with josh so uh <laughs> it, 
I went into a, to a store to get some water. While I was in the store, it just started pouring. Boom. The bottom fell out. Yeah. So I was like, well, I guess I can get to, get to talk to Josh just a lot sooner <laughs> than I thought. And I was like, you know, wait. I'm going to wait a minute. I'm going to wait about, you know, a couple minutes. I'm going to grab something to eat. Uh, I didn't need lunch yet. So I went grab, got lunch. Rain stopped. Sunshine came out. Yeah. But it looked horrible. It looked like it was going to be all day long. Yeah. It was just, how, just one little beat. How many times in your business, which is, that's funny when you say that, I know there's times where I'm like, guys, you know, they all come back to the shop, like, we're done for the day, guys. We're, and then as soon as everybody's packed up and, like, leave, the sun comes out and it's blue skies, not a cloud in the sky, and you're like, you've already canceled. You know these people are like, this a-hole canceled on me, and it's blue skies, you know? Yep. But that's I, finesse. It's, it's just like that with uh, if you're cleaning inside of a restaurant. And uh, you got to get to these, this booth over here, but there's somebody in it. You're not going to make a move. So you put all your stuff up, go out, you know, you're getting paid or whatever, and they get up and leave. And you're like, man, <laughs> got to get up there and clean that. I can't yeah. leave it looking like that. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, otherwise, I would have just been like, gone. <laughs> yeah. That's the finesse. That's the stuff you learn that, you know, little things like cleaning behind neons, like the transferred electricity oh, from man. neons and. And uh, just little it'll, dumb. It only takes you like once. You just oh, grab yeah. it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Or the stupid little chains that are on the neons. Like it only takes you like once or twice to realize those things are just gonna pop off. Like you know, like <laughs> stupid to like look and understand a light fixture before you even touch it. Or like you said, getting into the stingray to get behind those. So you don't have like little itty bitty things that 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 just come with nuance. This is doing it. You gotta get out there and do it. To learn it, right. that's just right. some of the things you know. There's like, like no one's going to teach you about neons in a in a in a video. You, no one's going to talk about neons. They may talk about it on the on the forums, but not enough for you to actually learn what goes on until you find out the hard way. You know, right? There's 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 all kinds of stuff, man. Uh, the forums got a lot of information. The uh, content creators they have a lot of information. And again. Yeah. Uh, I would probably, it would be easier for you to contact one of us than to go to the forum and then look like a noob. Yeah. You know, yeah. Forum. And that's, <laughs> that's really what it is like that, that you enjoy talking to people too, like yeah. helping people. Like how cool is that? You know, like every episode I give my cell phone, you know, every episode you do, you give your information, contact me, email me, text me, Instagram me, message me, whatever. Like there are legitimate people out there to help you. And listen, I always say this too. This is just our opinions. You know, I don't know everything. I know you said you didn't know everything. Yeah. We know that, but we can tell you our thoughts. We can tell you our experience. And if you talk to two people like me and you together have 30 years yeah. experience, we've got 30 years of mistakes, you know, or whatever. That's right. That's, that's pretty, pretty intense when you can kind of network that way. Yeah. And again, if I don't know something, I know somebody who will. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then if you learn the fact to tell somebody, now you know the fact. Like that's that's how knowledge kind of works. But you got to go do it to learn it. You have to. Right. That's the hard part. Is people with time, you know, when you tell somebody like, "Oh, how do you get so good?" Or how like I still to this day, I will race anybody to clean a window that has ever worked for me, and it's a $20 bet. And if you can beat me in a window and an error costs, you know, no errors, if you can beat me time-wise, you get 20 bucks, you know. Well, how do you how do you do that that thing? I've done it for you know thirteen fourteen years. Like I, I my my wrist does this. All of our wrists do this after a certain point where it just doesn't it doesn't hurt anymore. It doesn't do, you know? But these guys go, well, I want to do it now. You can't do it now. You just can't. There's some things that takes finesse. It takes time. I, do you remember when the the Mormon came out and everybody was like losing their minds. It's like. Because there they, they were people that were landing it and making it look all cool yeah, and yeah. stuff. And it, everybody, was, everybody else was just like, I threw mine in the garbage, you know. <laughs> yeah. Because they wanted it now. It, yeah. It, you know, it takes time. Yeah. Takes yeah, that's a, That's just like anything. Like, you know, I could tell you how to use a water fed pole, but it takes a while to really understand what's going on. Every, well, I got, I got white drips coming off the frame. You didn't do the frames well enough. I did. You didn't because the, the drips are there. It's like science. Like this is what's happening. It's not, <laughs> I'm not making this stuff up, you know, 
But uh, yeah, it takes time to like get the feel of it. Now, we, there's a challenge going on right now, which, by the way, if you got something that uh, you feel is a finesse, it takes time to learn, comment down below. Definitely comment. Uh, but there's a challenge going on right now. It's called the Blindfold Window Challenge. And uh, I think Steve might have started it uh, accidentally. But these guys are going in, they're putting a blindfold on, and they're fanning a window. Uh, I've only seen the pole ones. I think it would be interesting to do it by this. And then seeing what it happens after like how close am i getting you know that takes I, time like i can nail it yeah see there you go you're the next contestant i want to see <laughs> i want to see the fluff uh version of the uh the blindfold challenge <laughs> i was almost going to start one the other day another challenge uh it was going to be where i take my water fed pole i turn it around and I shoot myself all in the face with my rinse bar because it was so hot. I was going to put it in slow motion. Does that that would that would give views there? You'd be up to another level. Uh, YouTube would send you a play button because you'd have so many uh, views from that. I said I just gave my I just gave my secrets away. Yeah, see, so you live in like the the swamp basically. So you're always hot, always except for the two months that it's less than hot. But you know, yeah, I don't. I don't I have a buddy who lives in Savannah, and he loves the humidity. He says it like it's a blanket that, that hugs him. I think that's the dumbest crap I've ever heard in my life. It's a wet blanket you can't breathe through. That's what it is. It's the air you can wear. Yeah, that's yeah. When you got to do this to get to your next job, you know. I don't know. I'll see you in Atlanta. <laughs> Well, anyway, well, I, I appreciate it, man. I, I thought this was an awesome episode. That's one of those things that we just don't think about, and I think it's so stinking cool. So I appreciate you kind of uh, taking some time. I know you haven't even eaten dinner yet, so thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> dinner, you, Smitter. Yeah, there's always dinner tomorrow, right? Yeah. No, but uh, if you're watching or listening, please do the thumbs up right there on YouTube. If anything, and you're listening to iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, any of those, give us a review. Definitely appreciate that. Check out Fluff's content. It's amazing. And you can contact him anytime, so do that too. Uh, and if you want to be one of the elite, somebody who is one of the cool kids uh, who orders from me, then uh, give me a call, shoot me a text, 862-312-2026. I would genuinely, genuinely appreciate being your rep. So, until next week, go out there, make a billion dollars, and be epic.